So we're joined with... The Turks uh, have crossed the Bosporus. <laughs> we're joined by Will Miniker of the podcast and uh, Bill Corbett from Rift Tracks and Mystery Science Theater and hey. other things. Um, we were raising some money for Trans Lifeline, which is a hotline for uh, trans folk community. Uh, ran exclusively by, uh, by trans people. So, really great charity. If you guys have anything you want to donate, get the donation link going. Um... I think now is a good time for us to switch over to Boxes. So Boxes is a, a short horror film that we found. It's very scary. A lot happens in it. And, oh, uh, awesome. It can get it's not as scary as, as that guy projectile vomiting blood. <laughs> All right, Will? <laughs> no, I'm not. All right, all right so what is this? This is a, this is a short What did that guy actually do? Film. He must have chugged a Slurpee. There's a box. Yeah. Fucking around. It's like the name That's of the That's the movie. name of it. <laughs> and Nick's uh, cousin. Where'd you guys find this? Um, so we were looking for fast food reviews, and this was on a channel that's mainly fast food reviews. Okay. Um, <laughs> Does fast food think <laughs> so it's, 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 it's called Five Star Food Reviews, and uh, there's, it's sort of... there's five people sitting around a table, and they all review it, either zero, half, or one star, okay. and then they bring a collective. Ziggler's Tucks with the Tony Gifted. Thank you so much. Tony Gifted. Did we ever find out where they live? Mm. I think it's this house. We sort, of, we sort of created a headcanon for them that they're in like the middle of Nebraska because it's these five or six sort of like alt-ish kids, like theater kids. Oh man. Um, and we sort of figured that they were just like in the middle of nowhere and one of them is a uh, film director, an amateur film director. Oh, apparently it's Arkansas. And, uh, Arkansas. Ooh. A lot of a lot of boxes. They're not yeah, true to their title. Wow. There's nothing scarier than moving, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> and having no friends to help. Yeah, I mean congratulations <laughs> to her for moving those all in by herself. Yeah. It was a nice looking house from well, the outside. Well first she put the she rug has, down yeah. and then she put the boxes in. Yeah. The way the set is set up is so funny that, like, this woman is, like, 19. And she just has this much shit. She's like, she has, like, grandma level of stuff. Yeah, this is how much it is in someone's house when they've lived 50 years and a half. Okay. How are you? Why do you sound like that? She was a hoa. I miss you. You miss me, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I miss you, too. She has lots of Fritos. That's nice, though. Yeah. <laughs> She's not going hungry. She has high salt requirements in her diet. Pokemon go to the polls. Unboxing all these boxes today. Ooh. Ooh. Prefiguring. It's so much fun. I wish you were here. Box unboxing. You massive dub. <laughs> You should be deleted from Twitter, from Twitter or whatever the hell it's called. Yeah, hey girl, let me call you back, okay? I reached out to Takashi. Pretty scary so far. Yeah, it's very. Said, there's there's all the hate, man. Man, you win it. Whoa! Whoa! Look at this cool guy. Yeah. yeah. This guy's. Actually, this is Dan Beckner. Actually, he's gonna be on the stream later tonight. Wolf Parade. Kind of, yeah. I'm. It's Brace Beckner. <laughs> POV change. Don't we love? Just, just now move in? Um, I mean, a couple days ago, everything. Yeah. <laughs> She's just hot boxing her. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of cookies there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, over two pounds. Okay, well, a lot maybe of cookies for one person. Day. Maybe another day. I appreciate that. Okay. A it's a tight script. Sure. Sorry. That's a classic yeah, Pua technique, actually. Nice you, uh, yeah, you, you go to a woman's nice house and you say there's two really pounds nice. of cookies. That's a lot for one person to eat. Yeah, you put it on a scale. Like a big <laughs> drug dealer scale and you weigh it before you give it to her. You keep blowing pot smoke in her face, hoping she'll get insta munchies. <laughs> I 
Thanks, Flying Steak. Any other thank you? <laughs> I'm really digging the spooky atmospheric texture of this. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like one of those houses you rent in college with like hey, seven other guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> I mean, that's probably yeah. what it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, the gift is really weird. Kind of freaked me out, honestly. You should be the leader. Oh, the horror's coming. I mean, this is just set up. It's, it's kind of like a Western like, in that sense. I mean, Bobby, they like build up the mood and it keeps building and building, and you get this this big crescendo yeah, at the end. But he's really, really good. Sounds good. I it it's also I don't very trust that insensitive to Native guy. Americans. Cookies and Fritos for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Two pounds. I don't know, I felt like, I don't know, it kind of weirded me out. It kind of like, it kind of made me, I don't know. I just kind of want to go to bed, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well. Jim Bob, thanks for the $51, I'll call you later, man. Okay. Jim Bob popping off today. Bye, love you. Bye. Love you. Bye bye. we have for the tent. She doesn't seem to trust the sound of knocking at her door. <laughs> September 2000. Uh, the use of mirrors in horror movies always always a good trope. Yep. You know? He's already put the mirrors yeah. up and filled the bookshelf completely. <laughs> Just needs to unpack her Frito-Lays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't go in this room. Oh, there's the she light. put up it's the okay. lion post. Oh, there's a lion! There's a lion! <laughs> She has like a little Santeria uh, uh, altar there on the <laughs> left. That's the order you unpacked? Mr. Peasy, thanks for the $200. Everyone should grab a drink, you know, for that. I think I will. Drink my single the... vodka soda. <laughs> Where is the uh, donation link, you guys? Oh, uh, let me get that up in chat there. Yeah. Donate. Throw it on my incredibly large social media presence. Let's go. Yeah, I, I tagged you from our uh, stream account. Okay. Oh, she's going into the... What? Oh, oh come, she's coming out of the attic. How do... What? <laughs> Christ. Oh, drum hits. Oh. <laughs> There's more bo there, guys. I think there may be more boxes in the attic. Yeah. So, <laughs> someone's just googled how to make music like Goblin and like watched 15 seconds of the instructional video. <laughs> how to make Phil Collins drum fill. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Aaron, if you were in a movie, it would be called Suspiria, am I right? Ooh. Come on. <laughs> oh. Wow. The ghost has an 80s Casio keyboard. That don't make no sense. No. Yeah, this is the actual soundtrack. This isn't me. <laughs> isn't that... Nobody's good... shaving. <laughs> 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 Also, like, <laughs> she well, sure has a lot happy. of boxes. <laughs> Look at it's got all the snack cakes in the attic. This woman owns Man. a lot of things. But she not has too a, much furniture. Got a fucked up diet, this lady. <laughs> yeah, she does intermittent fasting so she can keep her figure and then just try <laughs> just little Debbie cakes. <laughs> Barbie One hour a day, she just tucks into these boxes of shitty food. That's an empty box. You can see it. <laughs> but this, these better be filled like they, with heads. These boxes. <laughs> it's just not. Like they, they set up at least two hundred empty boxes in this house. That's her thanks for the five. For no reason. It's a metaphor, Alex. The, the boxes were filled with baby clothes, but they're no longer needed. So they're oh, empty man. now. So it's sort of a, it's an adaptation noise. of the Hemingway thing. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Just like laboriously spelled out.
just got a great that, deal on that. some baby shoes. <laughs> some fucking loser didn't even use them. <laughs> oh, wow. we'll zoom. That was worth it. Oh. Oh. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> oh, shit. Well, this is oh, this no. Is oh. What? Oh, Fuck. A skunk. Oh, it's nope. a gift of some kind. <laughs> it was... Marilyn Manson? <laughs> you guys have found Marilyn Manson in your house at some point, haven't you? It's all of us. Uh, we received a call the other day, something about some, maybe some possibly rodents in your attic. I heard you guys called a nostalgia <laughs> critic. Come on, come on. You? you guys, uh, you left a oh, voicemail God. at our business four days ago, and uh, I'm just showing up at your house out of nowhere without calling first. I haven't seen like, I mean, any signs. Looks like a kind of guy who makes artisanal cocktails at a party. <laughs> um, the noise is really coming from upstairs in the attic. Okay. And, cool. Um, I'll be not cool, but. No, it's not cool. Actually, it's really. Boy, it's been kind of frustrating. I have, I have no idea. Yeah, but, it's kind of hard when you're trying to sleep. And, and it's a buzzing noise that she's yeah. hearing. It's like a very, a very David Lynch infused, just sort of ambient hissing and buzzing in the background. Yeah. This guy wears his influences very well. I think I have a Fabio Frizzy stuck in my attic. That line is freaking me out, man. I put your name at the door, I'm sorry. I wonder whose house this is. Sorry, go ahead. It says uh, it's filmed in Nicole Mullins' house. <laughs> you can also see there that the um, the candles and stuff, the Santeria is gone from there. You know, sometimes they never <gasps> do. I'm so they the IMDb visible. It's in a box now. Goofs. Yeah, the goof section. But like, in some respects, it looks like their grandma's house. But then there's also like that <laughs> yeah. lion post. Not too cluttered up here. It looks like a kid's oh, room, man. but it's in. The hallway. Check it out. That house. I don't know. My it's grandma weird. has that that Pink Floyd poster with all like the naked ladies and their asses and their body painted on. It's pretty normal. <laughs> My grandma's super into Fight Club. <laughs> Boondock Saints. <laughs> she, my grandma wakes up every morning, looks at the lyrics to Stary to Heaven on her wall, and <laughs> just lights up. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Your guys' memes are fucking old hat. Mine, mine loves Den of Thieves, starring Jared Butler. <laughs> Every time I visit her, she wants to throw it on. She wants to go in back and like throw axes into trees. <laughs> Is this guy like the hipster extermination service or something? <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever ordered an exterminator before, but they're always wearing lab coats and newsy hats. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> wearing, uh, uh, like, dockers. They just put no effort into that. Yeah. But so that's, much effort into just setting up box. There's, that's not even an expense issue. You could go to Goodwill and get, you know, a semblance of. Oh a my computer. God! Someone's been keeping a guinea pig in this <laughs> anime. <laughs> There's a no pet clause. <laughs> Read the lease. Read the lease. <laughs> the rest of the movie is set in the uh, landlord tenant court. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, William S. Burroughs is an exterminator uh, for a short period in his career, and I'd like to imagine he did, it was basically like this. Was he really? His wife? Yes, he was. That yeah, makes no, a lot of sense also, for this yeah. <laughs> cockroach thing. That's actually why the main actress is so skinny. Those Frito boxes are all filled with hay. That's all she eats. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's the twist. She's Definitely a horse. <laughs> lion! Sense. And the lion comes out uh, of the poster and eats her. <laughs> Uh, and it's on the Serengeti. That's the, the twist at the end. There, so. okay, yeah. Was the audio to this movie recorded on an it's, iPhone? It's, I, mean, I think oh, all of the movie was recorded on an iPhone. <laughs> yeah. It's on an iPhone in a box in the attic. <laughs> at, currently. <laughs> they filmed it in just okay. wide enough of a resolution that it has to be letterboxed on YouTube, which is so funny. <laughs> Because it's only going on YouTube. I saw this at Tribeca originally. 
I found this in Criterion. <laughs> Shit, more boxes. So it's kind of underlooked. Oh, there's an axe. I oh. guess she already moved in her axe and her rake. <laughs> <laughs> and her drill bits. Gonna coil up these extension in her, cords. And... In her two weed whackers. <laughs> <laughs> she is her own great uncle. <laughs> she is not packing light tell you that it's got old buckets there filled with shit from people Half she was filled born. lighter fluid <laughs> my old paint can of paint when she settles in she doesn't uh, get around my leaves yeah she raked them in there yeah arkansas there you go well they they painted before she moved in so Oh, just gonna keep that broom. Make sure that's uh, square yeah, away. Yeah, I'm sure a mouse is underneath there, dude. <laughs> the garage isn't even connected. This to guy, house. he has no equipment. Like, he has a, <laughs> where's his like spray? Or uh... when he opens that lab coat, he's got like pockets full of shit. <laughs> He's like Inspector Gadget. Yeah. A million rat traps in there. He just he he puts his head to the work. earth and starts surveying the horizon for rodents. You gotta move in my bottle of pesticide. <laughs> the and top my, broken off. My single yeah. funnel. Just like first order of business when you move in. This is the hipster exterminator, so he keeps like rat poison in like a fucking like a wine cask or something. <laughs> He has There's a little so dropper questions. filled with bitters that he puts in the poison. <laughs> Here's another visible gaff. You can see him filming insert shots in the movie. <laughs> Very economic. The B roll he's catching right here. Yeah. This guy is now the star. Yeah. This Improbably. Is like Psycho. This is like Psycho. The first third's about a young blonde woman, <laughs> and the second <laughs> half is just all about this creep. <laughs> They will have oh, the inspector man. at the end explaining got, it all too. That's Mike Racine's smoker. They just they just bought that so, from Craigslist. So after taking out a look in the garage, I didn't see any uh, any signs of rodents. Uh, no. That'll be three thousand dollars. <laughs> uh, but I did, however, see in the attic there was. Yeah, the we were there, buddy. Okay. Oh uh, shit! Box up there. Oh like what? Testing it a little bit. Behind um, you, Pete yeah. Chris. Uh, so I will definitely have to come back. I'm gonna write you down. What's your name? No, two, all the way. Come on out. Right? Yeah. It's Tonetta. And uh, the awesome. Prime. Oh yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Folks, we are over yeah, thirteen thousand dollars now. Know, Thanks for all the donations. Oh, I'm gonna lose. Awesome. Let's go. Thank you so much. Doing a lot of good. Worst, worst meat cute ever. <laughs> this is enough to fully fund their hotline for I think two or three weeks at this point. So that's awesome. Rocks, yeah. Near and dear to my heart. That cause. Another mirror. This is very, very Stanley oh. Kubrick. Oh. oh! Gonna. This is like psycho, damn. Watch out, there might be black mold in there. Whoa, holy shit, it's it, holy shit. She has no peripheral vision <laughs> whatsoever. I think you booked the moth club. Boxes, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> They should have had a box in there when she opened it. Yeah. Oh, that would have been sick. Play to your strengths. Well, is she wearing a, like a handkerchief as a belt? That is very a tie uh, as a belt. What's it with very nineteen seventies like Coke commercial look. <laughs> yeah, very I'd like to buy the whole world Coke a box. <laughs> 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 hey, Tito, thank you. Don Draper's eyes open wide. <laughs> Boxes. They're they're to put things in. They're put. <laughs> they're not just about putting things in things. <laughs> they're about what you take with you. <laughs> you put your family in a box. 
she is a lot of toxic chemicals for a 18 year old. <laughs> I'm one of those new washing machines. Oh, we got one of those. Yeah, they're great. I got one as well. You're connected to this movie noise. suddenly. Yeah. Because <laughs> when, when your load is done, it goes. Yeah, it makes a little, uh, does a little jingle. I wonder when the cookies thing is going to pay off. Whoa. There'll be like a really fat ghoul in the corner <laughs> just eating all the cookies. The cookies themselves were in a box. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, I didn't so think it of that. It makes you think. <laughs> it, it certainly does. Each room of this house is in its own way a box. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck. You're blowing my mind. Outside is sort of a box in itself. <laughs> oh, the mask! Oh, it's a mask. That. It's a That's mask. That's creepy. It's a mask. Ah, oh, the music's subtle. What are you talking about, Chad? There's a stairmaster or a elliptical. Yeah. Yeah, you just see the juggalo-looking guy like sweating away as she opens it. <laughs> Trying to drop some pandemic weight. <laughs> COVID-15, am I right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Get a garage door opener. Come on, you got that fancy washer dryer. You can <laughs> upgrade. What is she theoretically looking for now? I kind of <laughs> lost track. Uh, rodents? Uh, a, rac a raccoon. Rodent. Okay. Awesome. I'm not sure what she would do if she found it. Like, if you just saw a raccoon back there. Uh, just, yeah. Hey, hey, little buddy. I bet it's in this okay. oil drum. That You're not welcome to. here. I'm calling the police. <laughs> hey, you are. Sorry, man. I didn't know. I'll motor. You know, just don't, don't rat me out. Just don't call the hipster exterminator. <laughs> Just please, I hate that fucking guy. UNK, 20. Oh. Damn you, mice! Fries <laughs> <Surprise> are up. <laughs> One eight hundred hipster exterminator. Hello, please. I just I just heard a mason jar rolling down my driveway. <laughs> I... So many boxes. <laughs> Is that... They just they couldn't stop getting these boxes in this house. No, you're you're in free on strobe. There's your problem. The <laughs> yeah, problem is you got far too many boxes. <laughs> Brings on the demons. Oh, there. Oh, he's coming out of the box. Is there one in each box? Oh, it's a vaping monster. Oh, vape dude. It looks like she's being stalked by the guy who reveals all the magician secrets on Fox. <laughs> Guys, I'm terrified. Just send me a virtual hug. Guitarist for Mushroom Head ever came into my house. She's in a box now. She's in. Ooh, it almost looks like you're right there. She is in a box. Oh, what? shit. What? What? Yeah. what? Wow. Right? It's ironic because she was outside <laughs> oh. a box before and now she's inside one. <laughs> It really makes you think. Oh, man. That's scary. 
I relate to it though. That's like... oh, Featured I'll be right back. guest. Featured Introducing guest. <laughs> guest of boxes today at the Park Lane Hotel. God. Thank you, D Panic Man. Or D Panic Man. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Jenny! Look. I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny! Ship's coming home. Thanks for the $10. That, that is absolutely oh, indifferent to the Alex, situation. Alex, 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 you missed the, the most scariest part of boxes. There's a post credit scene, like it's a Marvel movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, you got, gotta right. watch to the end. Thanks for thanks for catching that, Grace. Samuel L. Jackson comes in. <laughs> what are you next to my painting of young Barbara Bush? Yeah, what? <laughs> so is he just in the house, and now that stuff is? Does he just live in the house, and people buy the house and don't notice him and all his stuff are in there? Yeah, and it was, so. It was... His Those are previous in tenants in there. Were were they his box? That's a good question, Jim Bob. Thanks for the ten dollars, Jim Bob. Again, popping off. Lots of donos today. I see you. Um, was it? it their channel's called Five Star Food Reviews, right? I feel like we should watch mm -hmm. at least one of those. Yeah, just to Let's give do some it. Context. Yeah. Um, five. But like, Five Star Reviews is such a generic <clears throat> name that. Uh, uh, I think it's five star me. You know, uh, Aaron. I just, I just got it. You got it. All right, cool. Aaron, it's it's fun to me that uh, people who do YouTube fast food reviews would endeavor to do a horror film yeah. because, like, what they do normally is way more horrific <laughs> than than this bullshit. <laughs> 